Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back to the Scarlet Workshop as I try to work on a, uh, a game for the Scarlet Acres comic, which only has the one, the one issue, but eh. Now, uh, let's do the old business first, okay? Um, DC, a friend of mine, uh, was talking to me about the idea of having meat affect how much damage someone takes. And uh, honestly, I want to err on the side of deadly, as it were. I want, I want even, even if they're a vampire, I kind of want you to be able to take, be taken down quickly if combat comes up. And the reason for that is the way that combat works in this game has a lot of bidding and a lot of kind of pushing your resources as a creature or a character. So instead of meat affecting how much damage, let's add, and this, this will be important today as we talk about character creation, let's add traits. And special traits will be things like... So that's something that we'll think about. Another thing that I wanted to uh, address was Brian Hume, who I'm pretty sure has seen my stuff before, dropped a line mentioning that uh, instead of having the ghosts rest near their fetish to give them uh, one will point per hour, uh, have them uh, be active around their fetish and give them one point for two hours. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna say no, and the reason why is, um, uh, what's the word I should look for here? Relatability between ghosts and other creatures, so that you have, you don't have just the ghost doing their own thing while the rest of a party is resting. Say you have a party of, I don't know, a vampire, a human, and a ghost. And the vampire and the human have to rest, even if they're resting in, like, daylight, which honestly isn't a problem in, in Doornail anymore, since the sun was taken away. Anyway, but the point is, is they are resting, and then you just have the ghost on its own. And uh, from a player perspective, that would get really annoying. How do I know this? Because I played Cyberpunk 2020, and what happens is a Decker will go into cyberspace, which is all supposed to happen, like, in super fast time. So while that Decker is in cyberspace doing all their hacking, the rest of the party has to wait. And that's a bad party dynamic. So I'm going to say no. However, uh, again, to err on the side of, uh, of Deadly, how about we also set up... which will mean that the ghosts will require more rest than normal people. Or they just don't do a lot of physical stuff, which which I think should be good. Honestly, you don't want a ghost. Like, if you're a ghost, you don't want to be known for being able to do crazy, psychotic things all the time. You shouldn't be a poltergeist all the time. You should only be a poltergeist some of the time. All right, let's talk about character creation. So what do we got here? We have six stats that we want to affect, right? Huh. Why don't I call limit, like, endurance? Seems like it would... Seems like it'd be, be a normal thing. Instead of luck and limit. That way I could also... Huh. What if we call it endurance for now? That way, everything has a different deal. M, S, B, H, L, and E. Endurance. <laughs> Constitution? Vigor. Ooh, I like vigor. Eh, vigor feels more like willpower. And eh, we'll keep it at limited luck. Now, we've already seen that the healths are all dependent on... Uh, what race you are for max health. And we're going to leave it like that, just again to keep things fairly even, fairly deadly. So now, uh, on a human standard, uh, most of these should all be 1 to 10. With luck being kind of off, you know, let me think, let me think. Um, 
minimum limit will be an issue. Like, if you have a limit of one, if you make it your dump stat and just get rid of limit altogether, um, you're going to lose willpower every time you try to complete a task in this game. You're going to be constantly out of breath if you do that. So, that would be... Let's put a fail safe. I was thinking six before, but I'm actually thinking maybe a little bit lower because maybe you want somebody who can't do a lot. You know, make it four to ten. So, to start... To start off, uh, all of these stats and this stat start at one. Except for limit starts at four. And then you get a number of points to split up. Now let me see here. If everything... We'll say the average score is six, right? If the average score is six, well, that's uh, six times six, 36 points. Minus, actually, I think I'm overcomplicating these. Overcomplicating this by quite a bit. All right. There we go. Nothing lower than one, or in Limit's case, lower than four, nor anything higher than your racial max. So step one, choose race. Because that affects what kind of max you can do. Step two, split 36 points. Actually, let's go with 35 points, just to make it so that somebody, somebody can't do even Steven six is all across the board. That'll fuck with a lot of people. I'm going to make it worse and say 33 points? No, higher than... No, we'll, we'll keep it at 35, just to fuck with people. So it's going to be like, everything's going to be 6 except for 1-5. Alright, uh, step 3. Um, I mentioned traits, so let's say people get 3 traits. Choose... Now, something about progression, like when you level up and stuff, and I'm going to say it right now, the, uh, at least the, the way I think it, again, to kind of, you, you won't be able to have more than 35 points split up amongst everything, right? So you're going to have to sacrifice something. Or if you do get an extra, you know, I'll have to think about that. Because on one hand, I do like character progression, but on the other hand, I don't like... Oh, huh. Huh. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about leveling up just yet. Let's just focus on this. So you choose three traits. And finally... Um, well, we'll call it filler, but it's actually kind of really important. Uh, character details. Things like name, age... Background, shoe size, etc. All right. Uh, gee, that was damn fast. So let's make a character. Okay. So let's see here. We have Forrest Dambell. He is going to be a vampire, and we have 36, no, 35 points to split up. Six. That's nine points so far. There we go. That was 36. There we go, 35. Yeah, there we go. 35 points. So, really smart. Uh, average build. Way above average uh, nimbleness. No heart. And, eh, luck. And his sanity. Actually, that's something that we need to put in here, right? 3.5. Pick a sanity number. Within racial thing. 
Okay. I'm, I'm flat out saying it. You just pick a sanity. Right? So, let's see. Sanity can't be above 80 nor below 15. So, we'll say... And he's not actually very sane. So, I'm going to pull it down a little bit and say he's like 35. Uh, sanity as being the attachment to this world is basically your magic stat. It is both how good you can cast magic and how well you can resist magic. Higher sanity resists magic, lower sanity casts magic. So there we go. And then I get a, guess I get to draw him as a vampire, which is, I'm okay with that. Okay, then we have to give him traits. Now traits are going to be like magic cards, and I just don't want to deal with it right now. Uh, what would his traits be? Uh, if I had to tell what kind of traits he would have, let's see. There we go. Okay, so there's our character, right? And I just pulled those traits out of my ass. I don't actually know. Which actually brings me to something that you people on YouTube might be able to help. I'm not going to put a limit on this just yet. Um, I need ideas for traits, right? And that's what we should actually probably kind of take a look at traits, right? Because that's the next thing. So I'm going to... Uh, this will probably be a short video. But I'm going to just quickly talk about traits. Okay. So definitely when you level up, you get a trait. You cannot get repeat traits. So let's actually make some trait notes, right? So some rules. No repeat traits. Also, traits don't... Or I should say may not affect base stats. In other words, you can't have a trait that just gives you extra luck or extra meat or something like that. At that point, why wouldn't you just level up luck or meat whenever you level up? Because traits, you know, you start with, you're going to start with three traits as a character, but uh, this, is the, this is the other thing, and uh, okay. We're going to pull a, a feats things. Like, obviously, I'm drawing a lot from Pathfinder and from 3rd Edition Dungeons & Dragons here, right? I can't help it. That's what I played. But uh, that saying, uh, powerful... There we go. Powerful traits require lesser traits to run on, just like they do with Pathfinder with feats. And um, that will make it so that, like... Mm, I wonder if spells, individual spells, could be traits. So, just on the side. That's a thought. That's a thought. So, okay, let's give some quick examples as to what traits would be like, right? Okay. Weapon specialization. Dornail has its own style of uh, weapons uh, that are called things like fang, uh, fangs uh, or chopping daggers or uh, there's one that's just flat out great knife from Silent Hill because that's fucking awesome. Uh, so for certain weapons, guns, another example, for certain weapons you should get damage bonuses when you take one of these traits. Traits should be no small thing. We're talking one trait every couple levels kind of thing. So, getting a trait is a big deal. That's why you start with three and it's hard to get any more after that. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
more on leveling up. Still, still gotta work on leveling up ideas. Because that's gonna affect everything else. Alright, um... What's another idea for a trait? Well, DC came up with one. How about... There we go. So far, these are combat traits. There needs to be something else, though, like, um... And as far as the idea of magic, we'll, we'll get into magic. But I like the idea of magic as traits things. So we'll say... Okay, let's do that shadow step. That was actually a pretty good one. And I actually already have that in the comic, so it is sort of a thing that I know you can do. Walk, not run. Okay, so there's some examples of traits, right? Combat traits are the easiest to come up with, but this isn't going to be a combat heavy game. Yes, combat's going to be in it, and there's going to be action and adventure, and it's going to be cool, but there are like basically sort of four different ways that we can approach traits, right? And those four different traits are. The fighter, the thief, the mage, and the diplomat. Those should be the four different ways that you should be able to get out of any situation. So, with that said, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, and, well, I guess I'll see how, how much, how long this video is after I'm done editing it. I would like suggestions. Feel free to drop them, even if this isn't a new video. If, uh, you're just now following up on the Scarlet Workshop and you're going down the playlist, take a second, drop me a suggestion. You'll see if I came up with the same idea or somebody else did later on. Uh, that way I'll get a nice sort of varied mix of ideas for traits. Now, I'm not going to promise that we're going to use them all. I'm not going to promise that we're going to use any of them. But, it'll help develop the Scarlet Acres game. Alright. I will see you guys next time when, um... Let's try dealing with magic, the magic system, next time.